the words are immersed, immersion, wrapped, cocooned, cocoon. Uh, to describe the experiences of observation when you become part of the environment that you're observing. Anyways, it is eight hours and eight minutes into the day of Monday, November 16th, uh, 2020. And I don't know if I got the date right when I ended the video uh, just about an hour or so ago. Uh, when I ended the... Uh, the, the ending segment for uh, the long weekend uh, vlog, and not necessarily long weekend in terms of uh, a three or four day weekend, but rather uh, long as two days merge into one, so let's uh, make that clear. Anyways, uh, there is the, as I said, we're talking about experience and sometimes uh, and how people experience things. And how people experience it really depends on, again, perspective. There are some who are, in, in many cases, are immersive in their environment, but that, that in that, that uh, it's not that they be necessarily become part of the environment. It's that they're wrapped in the environment. They become cocooned within it and experience it to a degree that others don't experience it. Uh, it, it, almost as an integration into oneself, they become part of the environment without becoming the environment itself or even necessarily interfering with the environment. Uh, the, the, uh, the, ob the ideal op observer doesn't necessarily interact with the environment in terms of altering the nature of the environment itself. But ra rather watches as events unfold and I guess this is this is a sense that can occur uh, uh, mentally with or within the psychology within the soul and psychology does mean soul it the psyche part psyche or loyia psychology psyche or loyia means study of the soul or word of the soul psyche part means soul. So we are talking about a spiritual environment, we're talking about the soul environment, uh, and this is where a lot of our mind is, our mind is in that aspect of things, although we do have a heart, the heart <laughs> says is to be central to the soul uh, more than the mind, the mind is the intellectual and the heart is the emotion. And if you look at uh, how people behave, you'll begin to see that the emotion rules overall. That it is in control of things, more so than the mind is. And this is uh, true for people who have mental illnesses. Uh, a large chunk of their issue is a control with their, with, it, it has to do with their emotions. Their emotions uh, sort of trump their logic, and so even though they may know something logically, it de really depends on how they feel. Um, feel is not a, 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 a again a properly defined term. It's a loosely defined term uh, because you can have a lot of different types of feelings, and this is how a person who feels immersed and not necessarily drowning, and they're not helpless that that they're, that they're drowning. It's, again. Another way of experiencing something is you could be drowning in it. You could be panicking and say, oh, this isn't good. But at the same time, the, that, that is true, true. That is also an, an immersion or a cocooning or a wrapped in. But there's also one where the feeling, the mood is more serene, more relaxed. And I prefer the term serene than relaxed because uh, serene covers uh, a more of the mood than does relax. Uh, uh, I don't necessarily know why. I just sort of when you hear the word and hear the two words. I prefer uh, serene over over relaxed uh, because 
Relax does not, does not necessarily mean peaceful, but Serene has a degree of peacefulness in it. Um, in addition to the beauty and, 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 and um, other attributes. And, and, and even in many cases, Serene can have a component of surrealisticness to it. Where the reality that you, that you sense is functionally different from the reality that you, that you see. Excuse me there. And so we do have to consider as we do our explorations the different words we use, how we ex how we explain things, our presentation of it, it also matters. And that's why in many cases this vlog matters is because if people want to go and find out how I come to my conclusions and why I think the way I think just the way I do for others, you do a background research and sort of, well, who is the person, where they come from, What's their experiences? How they come to the conclusions that they came to? Well, this is the same thing. I'm doing what I do uh, uh, about others. I expose myself the way I explore others, and so that's where the this vlog comes in. Uh, that's where because right now I'm living my life as a cyborg alpha. We are cyborg alpha. That still is true, and because the, the territories are new. Almost every two months now, we're moving into very new territory. Uh, you still have that tween feeling. You get the, 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 the moving into the new territory. It's like grade three. You have that excitement at the same time. There's a little bit of nervousness there because, you know, more is going to be expected. You know, the, 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 these are new challenges that are exciting and at the same time frightening. Like so it causes what they call the nerve excitement. And two months later, you're up into the grade 7, grade 8 uh, area, where you're starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with things. You're starting to get more of a handle on it. But as soon as you just go a little bit further in, uh, you're back down in... Uh, the third grade again, then starting the track all over again. Every two months. That's my, my, my loop now. It's just about every two months. Grade three. Move my way through to grade eight. Back down again. So, that's kind of the experience I have here. That's the way I exist. And uh, all the different tags I have in my vlog are valid. When there are vlogs in close proximity, it usually means the end of the day and the beginning of the day in terms of the vlog. And that's what's going on here. We are now ending the vlog for uh, the uh, November 16th. That's the Monday. Uh, that just passed. And we uh, will shortly be beginning uh, the vlog for uh, Tuesday, November 17th. But right now, we in this segment, we're ending the vlog for uh, Monday. Because we do operate on a 24-7 day, on a 24-hour 24, 24 uh, day. Uh, and it, it's not necessarily because, it's not necessarily my choice, it's, uh, I went to, I went to take a rest at, uh, around 11, and woke up, uh, around 2.30, I've been mill milling around for about about an hour or so, about a half hour, and I said, well, now is the best time to end the vlog, and within an hour or so, after doing some gaming and some meditation, I'll start the vlog again, so this is, the this is not much sleep, but about four hours worth of sleep, but yet, uh, at this point in time, I can't sleep. I try to go back to sleep, but uh, uh, no such luck, so here I am. It, again, it was 
something going on in my dream that kind of woke me up. And afterwards, uh, uh, and I thought I was sleeping deeply, but uh, uh, once I woke up, uh, just can't get back to sleep again, so figured out, uh, well, this is one of the windows I have to do some of the gaming. Uh, why not now? So, that's how things are going to end up going. I got the scooter back. I was able to get, finally, the weather was, was good enough for me to get the scooter back. I did try my uh, cold weather ride. I have everything set up for the cold weather. And it was fine. The pants worked well. The, uh, uh, I have a balaclava that comes over the face. It's, it's a nice material. It's not, it's not wool. Wool gets very itchy. Ugh. And I have sensitive skin, so it causes me to break out. But this material is nice. It's fine. And in terms of its insulation, well, it's ther thermally insulating. So, it, it's, it's a good thermal material. So, I was I was fine on the scooter. It was a bit of a wind, but not much of a wind. Uh, I am planning uh, either uh, today, uh, later on today, when I go back to my parents' house for dinner, uh, I might get up into the second gear. I'm not sure yet. But uh, we'll have sort of see how that goes. I have uh, a way of testing it out uh, uh, a little bit before I leave. I'll maybe leave a little early and uh, sort of test that out and uh, see how it goes. Ugh. But I, I was, I'm still not too sure about that. We'll see what happens. But uh, uh, it's because I feel, I feel comfortable enough... Uh, that there's there's three gears and I'm I'm feeling comfortable enough riding in the first gear that I will uh, move up to the second gear and see how I'm able to manage it on the road uh, going from the first to the second. So uh, that's something that's going to be remain to be seen uh, whether or not this is something I can do, whether I can't do it. Uh, it's going to be in an interesting. Uh, kind of experiment, if you will. Uh, I've done more of the hookup. I've moved uh, one of the computers that was behind you uh, to over here. That's going to be the uh, sound system, for, uh, the the sound input and output for uh, the uh, for the keyboard here. The, the lower keyboard uh, let me see what I'm point. the lower keyboard here uh, requires a computer in order to produce any form of sound. So right now uh, it's got no sound, and it's got no power because it's powered by the US, it's powered by a USB port. So, uh, going to fire it up eventually, uh, but uh, uh, it's going to take me another couple of days to get the system, the laptop, uh, uh, up and operating again. It's connected to the network, and there's some there's some uh, some, some work issue that has to be done, and then I have to load uh, a, a called a digital. Uh, audio workstation on there that's known as the DAW uh, and that's where uh, uh, you create most of your sounds you, and this is where the MIDI input is where this MIDI output is uh, so you do have a number of ways to sort of interact with the keyboard uh, so it's going to take a bit of experimentation to get things right and we'll kind of have to sort of see uh, how things go so but it is hooked up to the mixer it, the mixers are all hooked up uh, it's now just the computer that has to be uh, sort of more or less tested. Uh, anyways, uh, I think that's about it for now. So we'll see you in a couple of, in about an hour or so to uh, start the next vlog.